Here's mm -hmm. a little picture of your lower back. Okay, that's my spine. Uh-huh, your spine. And when we move over to the chart, your spine looks pretty good. It's a silent disease up until the point you have your fracture. Osteoporosis is a disease that is not visible to people, but has devastating outcomes. 25% of people who have a fracture end up dying in that year. 20% end up in a nursing home after a hip fracture, and 50% never regain their mobility. It's a high morbidity and mortality problem. We had an annual fracture rate, I would say, of about 1,200 or so out of mm, a population of 250,000 um, target members. Southern California region knew it could do better, so it took on this silent disease with the Healthy Bones Model of Care program. It's a multidisciplinary program that's designed to screen our members as well as provide education and treatment for osteoporosis and post-fracture patients and ultimately decrease the incidence of fractures. If you rest your hands on the table, just a little away from your side. That's fine. The Healthy Bones Model Care is based on the idea of you can identify the population at risk, start treatment on the appropriate patients, track those people over time, and then watch to see how the program is doing. We target all members over age 50 who have had an osteoporosis-related fracture, all women age 65 and older, all men age 70 and over. When a member comes in for a bone density scan and has borderline or diagnosis of osteoporosis, they are immediately referred to the Healthy Bones Care Manager to discuss the results. This just-in-time component saves members time and catches those that might have slipped through the cracks. I have an opportunity to spend about 20 to 30 minutes really educating them about their bone density and, and treating them. Speaking as a primary care physician, it's a way to really support and help primary care to have someone take care of those patients and take care of them well. One of the big successes that we have is uh, we have a very high percentage of our patients, uh, once they start their medication, stay on their medication. Also, it's more meaningful for the patient because they've just had this scan, it's fresh in their memory, and they're much more likely, we found, to um, go ahead and get the treatment. Typically falls happen in people. And then our Healthy Bones Care Manager closes the loop by actually sending the note via Health Connect to the primary care physician. Yeah. So the primary care physician is kept informed and up to date on the patient's management. The Healthy Bones database identifies members who are at risk for osteoporosis or hip fractures. Then the Healthy Bones Care Manager does screening and outreach to those members and brings them into the program for a bone density or DEXA scan and possible treatment. We're doing over 80,000 DEXAs a year now, where when we started it was like 20,000 a year. The numbers are important, but perhaps more important is how the program makes the members feel. I'm really surprised at the way they watch you and take care of you and notify you and then they want you to do things, you know, according to your results of the uh, bone density and x-rays, etc. My mom felt that it was a very rewarding experience because everything was done at the same place. Uh, the tests, the results, we didn't have to wait for the doctor for the results, so everything was um, very um, speedy. The Healthy Bones Model of Care program has been so successful, it's used throughout the Southern California region. It's not tremendously resource intensive. It requires that you have a, you know, some kind of database that feeds you back information, and then you have to have people that will be working the process. Um, but it's, it's very doable. And the impact? In 2007, 970 fractures were prevented at a savings of $32 million and saving 233 lives. I go up and down the steps maybe eight, ten times a day. In addition, Southern California region leads the nation in HEDIS post-fracture performance 
and has sustained that number one position for over a year. Oh, very nice seeing you today. Likewise. Okay. Based on our current performance by 2010, we anticipate that we will prevent 1,700 fractures at a cost savings of $62 million or so, and 400 lives saved. The lives saved is the bottom line. And the treatment now is relatively inexpensive. It's like $17 a year for Fosmax though. But a hip fracture may be $35,000 or more. $17, $35,000, it's simple. If you can get them on treatment and prevent that fracture, not only are you preventing mortality, but also the dramatic morbidity, and those costs are things that you can't even measure. In the final analysis, all I want to do is decrease the hip fracture rate to the lowest possible level. A lot of our older members are just hanging on by a thread, and a fracture would be all it would take to kind of throw them over the edge or maybe they'd end up in a long-term care facility and it's just nice to know that I'm doing something so that I can maintain the quality of life that they have. So you stay safe and take good care of your bones and if you need me call me. All right. It was nice meeting and you. Thank you You're so welcome. very 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 much. Mm -hmm.